So check this out, you guys. So yes, um, I have some ornaments I'm going to do a review and some I'm going to unbox in the next few months. But yes, I know Christmas was a few months ago. And guess who it is? It's The Rock. The man who kind of pulled a Will Smith slap on Cody Rhodes. And did the same. Like, Cody Rhodes did the same to The Rock. Which, I was surprised. You know. Uh, can't believe <laughs> both of them pull a Will Smith slap on each other. But, yes, um, so this is called the Hallmark Ornaments The Rock. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what it looks like without the tag on in 3, 2, 1. And I forgot to mention, this will be April's unboxing. So yeah, this ornament review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So I forgot to tell you guys I was doing an unboxing. And yes, this is actually a Resident Evil related thing. Uh, which I don't really see why, like, hold on, I mean, there we go, I just fix my camera, but here's the problem, I don't see, like, other people talking about this, because I saw this on Amazon last week, and it's actually based on Infinite Darkness, that's been on Netflix since July of 2021. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in 3, 2, 1. So, yep. Here it is, guys. Resonant Evil, if Infinite Darkness, the beginning. So, this is like the beginning before the 2000 and. 21 TV show. So yeah, let's go ahead and read it and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. So yeah, this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing video. So yeah, uh, so look what I got. So, remember I told you guys from yesterday's video I got a Wii, finally? Well, it actually just got delivered today. I thought I want to get it until Monday, but um, I don't see my GameCube controller anywhere. So, you get the controllers and for some weird recent batteries, the console itself... The little thing that you plug the the thingy in and the I don't even know what this is. Is this supposed to be the stand? I'm not even sh for sure. And yes, the game I got is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, I talked about it on the channel once. I think it was like a year or two ago. I don't remember. So yeah, guys. Uh oh, and here's the little nunchuck thing so yeah guys i hope you guys like comment subscribe so remember this morning's video i made on the mario party video like the mario party ripoff video i made this morning well so here it is the remake video that y'all are been waiting for. And yes, this is from July 1st, 2022, about two years ago. This is a remake to that video. So yep, here's the thing. I sold this game and finally I got it back. Um, 
Is the Resident Evil 4, the original one from 19 years ago? And I probably am thinking about doing Rated Immature gameplay on the gaming channel. Which I will probably, probably set it up to like, you know, you know, that setting. So here we go. Here is the unboxing in 3, 2, 1. So here it is. Yes, uh, it doesn't have the wrap around it. But yes, this unboxing is going to get 100 out of 100. And review 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I am back with another taste test video. We are doing the... Prime Strawberry Banana Flavor. Uh, this has been out for two weeks or three weeks almost. So yeah, um, I'm excited. Uh, yes, I taste the other primes, like the red one, the blue one, the green one. The green one is not so good. Grape and orange, glowberry, strawberry, watermelon. I have not tasted lemonade. So yeah, um I'll give it a smell. Okay, I smelled it. It smells exactly like strawberries and bananas. So here we go. Here's the taste test. In three, two, one. Now let's give it a review. This taste test and review is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, I am putting this in my April's unboxing. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So y'all know that clip I filmed like yesterday. I filmed that at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning yesterday and guess what uh some of y'all have been wondering how well not wondering like some of y'all well okay mostly i didn't tell you guys some of y'all knew but i didn't know walmart had these plushies in that's based on the netflix uh one piece show y'all can tell because if you look at the um the tag is from the Netflix sh Netflix show. I'm sorry, I cannot speak that well in this video. Like, this clip. So, yeah, uh, I got Nami. Uh, what's really weird, her, her eye color is blue, but in the anime, it's brown. So, let's go ahead and take the tag off of her hand and see what she looks like without the tag on and give it a review in three, two, one. I forgot to mention this, this plushie is made by Fat Mojo. The people behind Bendy and the Ink Machine, Doki Doki Literature Club, um, Rainbow Friends, Baldi's Basics, and all of that. So this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So let me say this, guys. So why on earth did I get a Dominic Mysterio action figure? Well, I found one a few years ago... If y'all remember that, uh, one of those Roman Reigns action figure unboxings I made back in, I, I think it was like the one from 2022, where I found a Dominic action figure, but someone got it before I did. Now, finally, two years later, I got Dirty Dominic Mysterio in my collection. Um, so yeah. I found this at Walmart like three days ago, and finally, I bought it yesterday. 
So here he is in the package. He's a high flyer. You can get Rey Mysterio, Karrion Cross, Ultimate Warrior, and B Fab. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Dirty Dom or Dirty Dominic. I don't know. I just call him Dominic Mysterio. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Here is Dirty Dominic Mysterio out of the package. He has the little judge, Judgment Day logo, the wings, the cool tattoos, and the long hair I'm not too crazy about. And this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, another early April unboxing. So, yes, we're doing another basic series. Basic series 142. Charlotte Flair. The daughter of Ric Flair. Now, we haven't had a Charlotte Charlotte Flair. I cannot speak that well. A Charlotte Flair basic in three years. I think the last one we had was like with I can't remember which series it was in, but it only included four figures, which was her, Damian Priest. Drew McIntyre, and Chelsea Green. So, here's the back. You get Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, Honky Tonk Man, and Top Dollar. So yeah, let's go ahead and get out of the package. And three, two, one. Alright guys, here she is out of the package. Um, she... He kind of barely has any articulation. I mean, I like the hand jester pose. And that's why I got this figure. But anyway, guys, this review and unboxing... Well, unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. So anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so shout out to Symbiote Studios for sending me this. I bought this on... Amazon, which they delivered it to me just today. I thought I was going to get it by tomorrow, but yeah. Um, so yes, I bought this like four days ago. Uh, so if y'all are not familiar with Symbiote Studios, uh, they did a new pre-order on Princess Luna like a couple weeks ago, and she is sold out right now. But yes, they're like these plushies that do a... a Toys for Hasbro, like plushies for G.I. Joe, Transformers, My Little Pony, all of that. So yeah, let's see which one do we get in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, so we got Lyra Heart Strings. Um, yes, I didn't see people review her at all, so I guess I'm the only one who's getting to review her and unbox her. I mean, they did do a review on the main six, like Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Twilight, Applejack, Rarity, Trixie. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag, shall we? In three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this. It is even the size of uh my um Nightwing action figure. Like I don't know if it's like 12 inches, but we are going to compare this one with a bleacher creature. But let's take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on in three, two, one. Okay, like look at this. So here's Lyra here. And look at John Cena, the John Cena bleacher creature. Y'all are now seeing me do a review. I mean, not review, I mean, in the newer plush videos, but look! They look so, uh, different. This one's, like, taller than the Bleacher Creature. And this plushie unboxing and review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. I hope 
You guys, like, comment, subscribe.